back to what's inside. I'm Lincoln and this is Dan. And today we have a safe as tall as me. This thing holds up to 18 rifles and it also keeps your valuables safe. So people will put things in here that are like their bank records, a title to their cars. We got this for a few reasons. First, you guys have asked for it a lot. You've said, could open a safe. And I thought that's actually a really good idea because I don't even know if we can cut into it. The second reason is because we partnered up with an awesome YouTube channel slash TV show. Studio C, we did this really, really fun sketch that we're gonna link in the description at the end of us trying to break into a bank vault. We've got a couple of our friends, Jeremy and Matt. If you've seen Studio C, I'm sure you recognize them. What do you think the odds are that we're gonna actually get into this with this tool? I don't know. <laughs> it's possible. I think that we're gonna cut through a couple of layers, but I think it's gonna be hard. This is 360 pounds, 11 gauge steel, but then there's also something else inside of it that I don't know, maybe concrete, maybe insulation. I think I'm gonna go around the top here. And if we can get this top part peeled off, maybe we can see what's inside the top of it. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. That actually was a lot easier than I thought. First layer, we got in with this guy. I should say this with all of our videos. Don't try this at home. Kids, don't go cut your dad's safe open just because we're showing you how to do it. I'm impressed. <laughs> you got in there. It's smoking. <laughs> that a deep cut. That was easier than I thought. To get okay, changing plans. I'm not going to go around the top. I'm going to come and open our own door. We're going to make our own door on the side. I don't know, you can feel there's some stuff inside of the sides here. Well, Pixie does! Some drywall. Hey! Wow. What do we get? What? We are literally in right now? Are you kidding me? That is it! That's all that it was! So one sheet of metal, oh and then you've got this, what is that, like sheetrock? Yeah. It's right sheetrock with a little bit of carpet on it. Yeah, that is stinking hard. it, are you kidding me? That <laughs> it's been like, what, 10 minutes since we started cutting? It was, it took longer to figure out how to close it. It's true. It, did, it, did, it did. Open. That was too easy. I'm, I'm burying my money from now on in <laughs> undisclosed locations. <laughs> I feel kind of bad about this, honestly, because we just showed the world that with a $120 saw and a seven inch metal cutoff blade, you can cut open a safe in less than a minute. I've seen people on videos um, get into the safe with a crowbar. Since this took like f five minutes, let's try to do it with a crowbar and see if there's two different ways to get into a safe. Ugh. No! Let's get into this. No, Lincoln was not under that. He was yelling from over there. <laughs> He's right there. He lives. <laughs> have to get it in between the door jam and pull it apart like that. Oh yeah. So uh, I have a finance degree, that's what I studied in college. What did you study in college? I studied psychology. Psychology and how about you? I studied film. Film. <laughs> we are definitely qualified for this. Look at that. We're spreading the door, Ugh, the bars of the doorway. I can see inside of it. What were you looking for? A chisel. A little chisel and you came back with what? A sledgehammer. A little, a little lower here so it has some leverage. And it'll come straight down on it. Ready? <laughs> Go. Nice. That is good to give a little swinging action. <laughs> Alright, we lost the sticker. I'm determined to get this little lock off. Alright, there's the lock. Just has that little spinny part. So look, it's a, there's a little metal bar that goes through that. I bet that's what you spin. And inside it somehow tells it to unlock. I knew a sledgehammer was a good idea. That one just broke. <laughs> Here we go. No way. 
Oh, careful. We're in! Yeah. We did it! We broke into a safe! Twice. Two different ways! <laughs> oh man, we broke the hinges off of this yeah, thing. Yeah. Those five things are what we had to do on the other side. We had to split this apart far enough and so that it would come up. And then when we bent it over, the hinges just kind of broke right off. Let's see what's inside the door. Yeah! Is this just drywall that's covered in like fake metal paper? This is the Sergeant Greenleaf series lock. And that thing looks old school, doesn't it? This thing lasted about as long against us as it would a fire. 30 minutes or less. Then this right here on the other side is the handle. If I had it unlocked and I turned it, it would open up right now and you'd see this slide over to the other side and that would move these bars down. They'd go and then these ones would come up this way. That's pretty much all that side of it is. This is not a shot at whatever safe company this is. This is just the one that we bought. I didn't want to buy a used one because there were tons of them on the classifieds and I'm like, nah, I don't want you guys to say, that's so out of date. That's not what they're, they're like these days. So I bought a brand new one just so that we could see the real effect. We successfully got into a safe two different ways. That was much easier than I thought it would be. It was crazy how easy it was. You need to have a challenge, don't you think? I guess for the what's inside guys and the Studio C guys, a safe is no match for us. Give us something harder to cut into. Come on, really? You did sweat a lot. I did sweat. We filmed one of our favorite videos that we've ever done. It's not even on our channel. It's on the Studio C channel. And we broke into a bank vault. Also, we did a behind the scenes that kind of showed how it came to be in our backyard. So we need this thing tipped over. Lincoln said he wants to do it. Let's see if he can. It's like, <laughs> just touch it. How just, is this not falling? Just barely tap it. Beep. Blow on it. 